All right, for this exercise, we are going to walk through and do an overlay analysis. So I already have a drawing. I've already attached my raster data. Uh, I am actually using the uh, tool-based geospatial workspace, but I'm still within Civil 3D. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect a shape file. I'm gonna bring in the parcel data. So again, going back out, I'm gonna grab my parcel information. I'm going to attach it, add it to the map with a query. And I only want a location, so I'm gonna bring in uh, just the information in this area here. So I only want the parcel data for that area. I'm also gonna come over here and let's go ahead and we'll close that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the style. So I'm gonna stylize this again. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change it and shade it down. Uh, we'll change the background color and we'll shade it down uh, about 80%. Actually, let's go a little bit more. Just want a slight tint to it. Keep the, the objects black, the line black. And so now we come down here and work in this area here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a, an SDF file that is a uh, floodplain. And this was created basically by drawing a polyline. It's created a floodplain. It was saved out as an SDF file format. And now we're gonna bring it back in and use it as an overlay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my task pane. I'm gonna add data. I'm gonna connect to data. I'm gonna add in an SDF connection. So I'm gonna go to my source file. And my source file being SDF. I'm gonna bring in the 100 foot flood or 100 year floodplain. Same process of connecting that to my site, add it to my map. Close the data connection and you can see here, I've got a 100 foot floodplain. It overlaps parcels, okay? And so what I'm gonna do next, let's go ahead and style, style that one. So I got my uh, floodplain and I wanna style, modify the style for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the style and I'm gonna change the, the polygon information. All right, so I actually have to scroll down and actually get to the polygon style. I'm gonna change this Let's make that, uh, we'll make that a light blue, add some transparency to that as well. Okay, so now you can see where our floodplain is in relationship to all our parcels. Okay, now what we wanna do is actually create a table or possibly maybe a report. So what we need to do is we wanna know what parcels are intersected by this floodplain. Sure, we could go and pick on each parcel and write that information down. But if you do an overlay uh, analysis, you can actually create a coverage that will combine these two features together. So again, on the anal analyst or analyze tab, let's go ahead and bring up that ribbon. We're gonna do a feature overlay. So on the feature overlay, you'll see I've got some options here. Uh, I'm gonna choose the source being the main polygons and the overlay being the flood zone. I'm gonna choose intersect as the type. So I'm gonna walk through this, this wizard that we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and select next. You can see that it's gonna ask me for an output location. So let's change that location and navigate uh, to our project data. So I'm gonna go to projects and let's see my civil 3D geospatial. Go into my lesson five. We'll call it parcel intersect. Um, let's go ahead and change that to parcel intersect. Uh, we'll call it July. Um, you can control like sliver tolerances and, and ordinate tolerances. We're gonna leave those the way they are for now. And we'll go ahead and select finish. 
And after we select finish, we'll end up with a, another layer that is a com combination or intersection of these two features. So it's going to go ahead and perform the analysis and do the overlay. So now you can see that it's created a new coverage of parcels that are that have, uh, are affected by that floodplain. So if I come into my task pane, there's the parcel intersect. I can now go to my table, go ahead and continue that message, and this table shows you all the parcels that now I can go in and find out who owns these parcels, what the area of, of the intersect is, whatever information you want, but I've created an overlay analysis for those parcels. So you can see that this parcel here that was created is from an intersection of the floodplain and that main parcel. This area down here in gray you'll see is there again there's no parcels down there that's the right away which is why that's showing up as, as a different color. So again you can see using this overlay um, some, from some very powerful tools working with GIS data uh, and doing some very simple analysis can give you very powerful results and create very nice looking exhibit maps um, or uh, presentation information or even uh, you know data that you need to send to these owners that hey this floodplain is going to be modified or, or be adjusted and it will affect your property um, or basically whatever the question you're trying to answer is.